went wide. So, um, James or Dan, who would like to start on first? James. Hi. Hi. Reflecting on the season, 10th place, how big an achievement is that for you? Yeah, great, great season for us. No doubts about it. For everything, not just because the the position, of course, we have to be proud of the position we we are going to finish, but the the way we we achieve it, the the way we keep improving the individual and collectively our 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 squad is being uh, is being really really good. Um, Credit to the players because the their right, right mindset always um, ready to learn and to work really hard. The way they, again they they bought our idea and our 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 philosophy as well to the way we are going to play football. And because that I'm always saying that credit to them because at the end they are going to be the to be on the pitch to take decisions every every single uh, moment of of the game. Um, what I can say, brilliant season for this football club. We knew before the season start how it will be crucial for this club to be to, re, to remain in Premier League um, to do the way we did from February and I think most of the people didn't have doubts that we are going to to remain and to do a season with the quality that we have done is, is I have to say that is brilliant. Tenth is secured, you can't go any higher or lower, but you can record a record points tally in the Premier League, one more point to batter, an inspiration? It's always, uh, firstly because there are three points to fight for, that is the, 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 the main thing and the, from the first day we, the players they know what, what, our, what are our demands, our standards uh, every single time, even if you know that we cannot go for a different position at the table right now, but you can, you can collect more points and this is the main thing for us, if the points are there it's for, fight, it's for us to fight for and to as always, to, to demand from ourselves certain type of standards that is important every single day. And of course, to see um, that on the, on the match day, and of course, will, will be important. Your success is seeing you named on the shortlist for manager of the season. Is that nice? Uh, it's not just about you, but personally, does that satisfy you? This type of awards, or the, the award, not, not an award, a nomination, um, of course, has to, to make all of us proud of, but is, is a consequence from the performance, for the, the way the team performed, for, from everything. And of course, it's something that will, is not just an individual thing, it's, it's much more a collective, even if the name is there, it's a collective thing. And of course, you have to share with everybody. Um, and uh, and for, for me, it's a consequence from the, the, the season that Fulham Football Club uh, uh, has done. That is the, the main thing. But if you ask me, that is, that is something um, good, nice, that proud to be to be um, in the, the middle of that, all that names when you are managing full and football club, of course it is. And your success means you're also now being linked with other clubs. Can you put Fulham fans' fears at ease in terms of your future? No, it's uh, about rumours. You know myself from the first day, not now. Uh, normally I don't talk too much about the situation. I'm, I'm repeating every single week that we, we are here. We are talking every single day with people to to keep planning and improving this football club as, as, as better as you can and as you did from the first day. And this is the main focus for us. And um, I, I have contract with, I'm under contract with this football club and this is the main thing. Do you see your long-term future here? Okay, when I, when I come here and I signed three, three years with this football club is because I, I felt that was the, the right move and the, I felt that uh, and was a decision um, that I did that um, I, I did really looking forward to to get the, the, the business done in this football club. And do you feel the club has the same ambitions that you had in terms of kicking on from there? Okay, we, we are always uh, talking and they know clear from myself what is important to keep improving in this football club. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Dad. Mark, I guess to you again. Um, is there a moment, a match day this season that you looked to your staff and felt, we're going to be okay, we're going to be all right this season, we are competing, we're doing everything we need to do to remain a Premier League club. You have some games during the season that they, they were important for us. Um, it's difficult to, to mention just one. I can tell you that um, the first one is has always an impact and because the, the team that you play against, the way we play that game, 
um, when everyone expected completely different performance from ourselves, the way we we started and we we finished that that game and was a, um, a very good statement from ourselves. I have to say, I know that it's just one game and was the first, but was a, 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 as a first game was a good statement from ourselves, even without um, the squad completely in that in that moment. Not of players to come and all that situations, lot of young lads on the on the bench, but was a was a sign, was a, a performance that showed what we are here to to, to do in in Premier League and um, showed that our preseason was good, showed that we prepare well our 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 players and that game probably was 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 important. Of course, during the season we have some of the others. I think the, the the restart from the World Cup. The way we restart from the, the the World Cup break was important too, and it's difficult to mention just one, but I can go in the first one. You mentioned already you're always talking, planning, focusing forward. Again, I guess doesn't allow you to stand still for a second. When will your thoughts switch from okay, we're done now, and we are very much looking forward to to next season? Would it be the minute that you're finished on Sunday? About planning about uh, next season, I have to tell you that. Since we finished the, the the last market last summer, we we start to think about the next one. Okay, players to to try to renew, players to um, to look uh, to look after them. All, all that situation is not something that okay. Now we are going to look. It's something that is we can plan during the the season. Even even if the main focus is the, the the current season, of course we have to look to focus on the games, on the training session, all that and the planning, all that situation. But at the same time, we understand we have to keep. Uh, Looking for the for the future, and we did. I can tell you that we had some important meetings before the World Cup break, and that all that means was about the future of of the club. And from that moment, we start to to plan uh, important things, and they are in the in, in the way. Of course, I understand your question. Probably, I can tell you that after the the Man United game will be a moment for us to make um, a complete analysis about everything and to prepare. Definitely the, 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 the next the next weeks for the, the football club. Yeah. If we talk about Manchester United on, on Sunday in your final game at Old Trafford, how do you feel Eric Ten Hag has been able to take Manchester United forward this season? They are they are going to play um, for them it will not be the last game. They are going to play uh, another final. And that means that uh, they, they played Two finals. Okay, they play one, and they are going to play another one. Um, and of course, for Man United, for a club like Man United, it, it is really important. Um, they are fighting for for some titles. Um, about the other things, is not. I'm not the right person to talk about. Of course, they um, they change some things. They, they 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 sign good good players as well. Some players they they have been a key for them the last few seasons, like Rashford, like Bruno. All all these players they they sign two or three players that they. They made a huge impact in the in their squad as well. Okay, and they are Man United. I don't need to say anything more. Previous two meetings this season, cup and league, you've certainly gone toe to toe with Manchester United. Would you be expecting exactly the same again on Sunday? It's our image as a team. It's our philosophy as a as a team, and is not going to change. Our approach to the game is not going to change. I, I agree with you definitely. There were two games when definitely we didn't deserve to to don't take anything from the games, and we we didn't take. But clear, we we showed our quality and uh, in all the moments of the, the games and uh, um, I would like to really, if you ask me if I would like to repeat the the performance, I'll sign straight away now because we we did so well at home and after that, at all Trafford in terms in performance wise, of course we want results and we are going to fight for it. Any injuries? Um, nothing different from the last weeks. Yeah. Um, Hi. Hello. Um, those the memories of that cup game at Old Trafford, I'm sure, were still fresh in your memory and in the memories of the players. Yes, for many different reasons. Probably the main one was not what what we are talking about or you are, what we are thinking right now. the The main one is the way you perform long time during that match. That we were the best team by far on the pitch. Um, and of course, the, that minute, that incident, that of course is in our talks as well. But it's already passed. A uh, moment for us to, when you analyze that game, and we did it. Of course, we took the many, many, many positives from the game, 
and other things that we have to learn and um, to learn from some moments of the game and we did it. Um, Alexander Mitrovic scored in that game and yeah. then obviously the subsequently sent off. He's back for Fulham and available for this game. Is there an added incentive for him maybe to <laughs> do something on Sunday? No, not at all. Mitro doesn't need this type of incentive or, or something like that. Then doesn't need this type of uh, games to be always on there. I think he showed the uh, um, 25 minutes against Southampton. That doesn't matter the club that he's going to play against. Last week against Palace, and uh, he was Mitro. He's, he doesn't need to play against certain type of teams or in certain stadiums to be more motivated. If you know anything about English football, you know that no club needs the motivation to go and try and achieve something at Old Trafford as the opposing team. Oh, you know, you know that you are going to play against a, a very good side. Um, I think they have been showing the, the, this season uh, a massive club. Um, last night they, they, they showed again their quality, the, the individual quality they have. Um, in my opinion, in my opinion, it's clear um, the best teams in this in, in this league because if you look for it, their individuals, they are really a top 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 level. Um, they have players in the attack line, midfield line that they can decide the game in in one second if you switch off. And of course, all that things has to to demand from us um, to be on the top, to be in the top in all the moments of the game. Um, you've been talking about what you've been trying to do to um, improve the team and also the future of the players who are here. And one player that you've said that you're hoping to kind of commit to a, a new deal is Willian. I just wondered if you had an update on that. No, no updates. Not not fresh news on on it. But it's a priority for us to 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 renew with him. Yeah. Thank you.